ready to start? Feed us. I'm ready to be feed us. Feed All right. me, Donald. Here we go. Here right. we go. Downtown Las Vegas is said to be the historic heart of Las Vegas, home to several casinos, an incredible art district, great shops and entertainment, and some awesome restaurants. We've teamed up with Lip Smacking Foodie Tours to share with you three top local favorites here downtown. And we even take you to a very popular locals bar found in a downtown Las Vegas alley. So we are very excited about tonight, you guys. We got a phone call from a very popular food tour company here in Las Vegas called Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. And they've invited us to check out some of the downtown restaurants we do not want to miss. <laughs> and y'all know we love to eat and we're excited to bring you some of the local favorites downtown. Yeah, but right now we need to change our clothes and get ready to eat. You ready to rock? I'm ready. Let's rock. Welcome to our downtown Lip Smacking Foodie Tour. I'm Donald, I'll be your tour guide this evening. I'm the president of Lip Smacking Foodie Tours and we're gonna go to the best restaurants in the Fremont East District. You'll get to enjoy the signature dishes at each one and a signature cocktail along the way. First up, Carson's Kitchen on East Fremont. Just look for the John E. Carson Hotel. Johnny Carson, <laughs> now that's funny. And the donut bar, and you know you're close as the only sign for this restaurant is in the window. Feed us. I'm ready to be feed us. All right. Feed us. Right. Here we go. We were totally ready for a tasty treat, especially when you see what's going on in the kitchen. So these uh, dishes never come off the menu. These are their signatures. This, uh, they go through 50 pounds of these every day. They're chicken skins. They're wow. crispy chicken skins uh, with served with smoked honey. I'm gonna dip it both ways. Uh, I don't, I'm just gonna roll that. There you go. <laughs> oh God. Nice flavor, it's soft. It has a smokiness to it once you bite into it. And of course the sweetness from the honey really kind of brings it on together. Mmm. You're gonna like this. I know we were talking about fried chicken earlier. I think this satisfies the fried chicken. Wow. Without the meat, just the skin. The healthy stuff. And a little honey. Oh, look at that honey, oh my goodness. Are you doing it right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Put it on here, there you go, ready? Okay, I'll take that. Uh-uh. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> I've never really had anything quite like this, but it's uh, very light, surprisingly light. And I tell you, that smoked honey is amazing. The flavor in that, really good. Brings it home. This is good. I give it a thumbs up. Absolutely. I'm just give it up. So veal meatballs, uh, they flash fry these, so they're going to be a little crispy outside. Nice. Moist, tender inside. It's tossed in a sherry foie gras. All right, Dave, we'll do this together. There we go. Oh, yeah, let's do it. I'll give you one that has a lot of good juice yeah, on it. I like that. Cheers. Here we go, Beth. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mmm. Incredibly tender. Yes. Right? Kind of melts away in your mouth. Really good. I love the sauce on there. With kind of that faux gras as well. Ooh, that's uh -huh. really good. That's my jam. That's your jam? Yeah, back away. Back away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a, just because we want to eat it while it's hot. Yeah. Mm. That's a great start. <laughs> okay. I, I, need, I love that. Let me say, wow. They certainly don't hold back on the options. We also had a delicious beet salad, a refreshing cocktail, and a unique spin on deviled eggs. The deviled eggs they topped with uh, caviar. Oh, wow. I got you. you ready? Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. It was really creamy. 
has a meaty flavor to it. Mm -hmm. There's only one problem. There's only one? <laughs> exactly. exactly. I think he knows this too well. If you couldn't tell from all the laughs and the thumbs up, we were definitely off to a great start. All right, time for the next part. Up next, it's time for a little therapy. Once home to a 99 cent store, this popular spot has been featured on the Travel Channel for one of the dishes we'll be trying tonight. Mmm, looking forward to that. Oh, and if you haven't done so, go ahead and take a second to hit that like button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Your specialties here. So our uh, specialty is a red velvet chicken and waffle slider mm -hmm. with uh, shredded lettuce and remoulade, and it comes with uh, maple syrup. And then we also have our fried mac and cheese bites. That's our other specialty. Uh, for you today, we have our devils on horseback. It's a almond, or rather a date stuffed with almonds wrapped in bacon. We also have for you a nudie on a cr um, cranberry crostini, uh, chicken meatball with a spicy cilantro pesto. So we are excited about this next spot, you guys, therapy. Now you guys know we spent a lot of time down here on Freeman. As a matter of fact, we just did like a pizza battle down here. We so did. we battled the best downtown pizza. Well, evil Pie versus pizza, pizza Rock. Pizza Rock. That's right. Oh my goodness. So this is exciting. We've walked past this place several times. We had no idea this was going to be a part of the tour. And I'm excited to dive in. All right, you know what? You know I'm what they gonna... say about food? It doesn't taste good when it's cold. I'm going to dive right in. This? I'm going to dive right in on this guy. Yum, yum. Give me some. Here we go. Mm. It has a really kind of nice smoky taste. So I think it's the pesto. That breaded texture in there, really good. The pesto is amazing. Also, the meatball is kind of crunchy too. Nice crunch of the meatball, very tender. But yeah, the pesto really stands out. I didn't really taste the jalapeno quite as much. I didn't really taste the real hot spiciness to it. We really enjoyed trying some of Therapy's signature dishes, chicken meatballs in the nude and devils on horseback. Not to mention, that drink called the Smash was very refreshing. But of course, we were looking forward to the Travel Channel featured dish, the chicken and red velvet sliders. Let's just dive right in. I'm ready. Are you gonna dip it in your sauce first? Or are you gonna try it? I'm gonna I'm try, gonna it, try it without the sauce yeah, first. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is gonna be messy, folks. This is real messy. And that is so good. What do you, what do you think yeah. of that initial first bite? Yeah, I really tasted the red velvet yes. waffle. The red velvet really came out strong. I can't explain it. It's one of those things where you just know everything works well together. It has definitely like a, a buttery, you know, sort of texture to it. The chicken is really nice. I'm sure this is going to change the dynamic. Yeah, it's I like try a, that. Yeah, it's like a vanilla maple syrup bourbon. Oh. There we go. There we go. They're making a mess. Look at that texture, though. All right, here we go. That's like dessert mm -hmm. and dinner all wrapped into one. It's true. I feel That's like ice cream sandwich. Right? With chicken. That blended with this whole, the red velvet. Nice real sweetness to it. Exactly. It's got a real nice sweet taste to it. Sweet and delicious. <laughs> Just like my husband. <laughs> Final restaurant is one of the newer restaurants downtown. It's at 7th Street and Carson Avenue. It's called 7th and Carson, so follow me in. We're excited to give this a shot. Best salads in Las Vegas. Best salads in Las Vegas. Award winner here in the house. We like first, salad. we're gonna try a little. Carson Cooler here. Ooh, I love right. the glasses of the Carson Cooler. Really nice. Oh, some awesome. absolute Gillix vodka. Ooh. Really nice stuff. Blood orange, yep. thyme, cucumber, lemon, lemon and lime. honey. Let's do it. Here we go. Mm, really taste the blood orange. That's really refreshing. Super, so refreshing. That's nice. We wasted no time diving right into 7th and Carson's signature dishes. 
from their curry patsy, award-winning grilled pear and burrata salad with burrata, arugula, pear, champagne reduction, and toasted cashews. The delicious potato gnocchi with braised short ribs, kale, mushrooms, and shaved parmesan. And of course, we could not go the night without having some delicious desserts. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty stuffed right now. I am stuffed too, but you know. What do you think? I think it's always room for that second stomach. You know what I mean? That dessert that stomach. That dessert stomach. I think so. What do we got, got here? some uh, lip smacking oh. dessert for you. Oh my goodness. You was that? that was planned. Was that was planned. That was a Do you hear perfect that timing. Mm -hmm. My goodness gracious. Oh, oh, oh my god. Wow. So the uh, donuts actually made next door at Donut Bar. So it's a oh. local company. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, then we have, it's tossed in uh, sugar cinnamon. Then we have the uh, caramel banoffee. It's a Ooh. sliced banana, house-made caramel, caramel uh, pastry, and uh, ba banana layered throughout. Finishing off dinner with these desserts was literally icing on the cake. But there was just one more local's favorite downtown Las Vegas hotspot we just had to see. <laughs> Downtown Cocktail Room, or as the locals call it, DCR, is a downtown Las Vegas craft cocktails bar favorite. They don't even have a door out front to find it on Fremont. You have to enter through the alley. And we were told they make a mean cocktail, and we were ready for one. What we have here is our Miracle on Bourbon Street. Uh, it contains Evan Williams, which is our um, whiskey we have here, our bourbon whiskey to be precise. Uh, we also add Zerbenz. Our house made orange simple and just a few dashes of Angostura bitters. We also add in there the orange swath is um, has clove infused and we light that on fire. Wow. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready to light some mess on fire on my insides. <laughs> this is your jam. This All reminds right. me of a reminds me of a Manhattan. And I love the smell. Has that oh, my, it's smokiness. It's going to make that clove, the mm. orange. It's, mm. it's perfection. Well, thank you. And You're this is welcome. perfection. So here we go on to the next spot. <laughs> what a day we had here trying three top downtown Las Vegas local favorite restaurants and crafts bar. You know, we felt Live Smacking Foodie Tour felt a bit more than just a food tour, but a Las Vegas experience. Turn it up world! Wow, now that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much to Lift Smacking Foodie Tours for the invitation. We're gonna leave information to their company below if you wanna do a tour. We are still kinda dressed up here, so I think we need to get back out on the Las Vegas trip. What do you think? I'm ready. Let's go. Good night.